Getting back to your content, the other thing to consider is the resolution of the image. The res resolution of the projector is measured in pixels. Like the aspect ratio, it's referenced by its width and its height. A pixel is the smallest addressable element in the image. Each pixel on its own would just kind of look like a color or a shade. But altogether, the image is mapped and that's what creates your overall video image. Resolutions come in all sorts of configurations. Most are designed with the standard aspect ratios in mind. For example, the resolution of 1920 by 1080, commonly known as HD 1080, the root ratio of that horizontal by vertical pixel count works out to 169, as is the same for 720 HD. Its pixel count is uh, 1280 by 720, which still has the same root ratio of 169. The lower pixel count does not mean a smaller image, it's just a less detailed one, because it can occupy the same space. Every projector has what is known as a native resolution. This is the total pixel count that the projector is capable of producing. If the native resolution does not match that of your content, the projector can display it at its own resolution. It just won't be achieving the full potential of your content and what the projector is capable of. So what I have set up here is just the uh, projector set up with a resolution displayed coming from a Macintosh computer. So like I said, this setup right here is all in the 4.3 configuration. So I want to set my resolution of my laptop to match that configuration because I have that capability. So you go into the MacBook settings and you just select the resolution that suits that ratio. The 1024 by 768 falls into the 4.3 category. So that's the one you're going to want to select. That way when the image reaches your projector, it's coming in as the actual ratio that you are using. So it's going to fill your screen right away. Again, if, if you were to have it come up in a 169 resolution, you could make up for it on the projector by changing the settings and stretching or pulling it in either which direction, but that's not going to help your overall look of the image. So like I said, ideal just to have everything talking all the same uh, pixel count. So everything is, is, is the same across the board and everything's going to look good and come up in the proper, proper ratio without any stretching or weirdness.